Hello, everybody. My name is Dizzy, and welcome back, everyone, to uh, not what we had scheduled for today. Uh, we are going to be doing some Hunter Call of the Wild today uh, on account of... I was in a different stream last night and was talking big game about playing the Hunter, and I'm actually nowhere near that good, so I thought I'd sort of join in, put up or shut up, as it were, uh, and uh, see if we can't get good, because, you know, that would be nice. Uh, I also wanted to try out some, maybe some new weapons. We'll see what we've got uh, available to us, as well as in terms of what missions we have that we need doing. Uh, I believe that today is going to be partly a, a, a photography stream, because I think we have a mission to, to snap some pictures. Let me see if I can uh, swap us over and actually have a look at the game. There we go. Oh, we have a new EULA. Give it a quick scan. Uh, oh my god, it's a very long EULA. Okay, we'll read it later. <laughs> Uh, no, I do not want you to send crash reports. Even though your game is a bit buggy, it doesn't normally crash, and certainly doesn't crash often enough that I want you to be scanning all of my telemetry to try and fix it. Uh, welcome to Boom Boom, who's around in the chat. Hi there, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful morning. Oh my goodness gracious me. Um, i got to get ready actually as well, because we're going to start off with a little, a little bit of kit fixing, as we often do. Jump on in to get my list of weapons in the game up. Uh, the stream is going to be a little chuggy just while uh, we're doing this because I have Firefox open. That always slows us down. Uh, in terms of what we have on us currently, okay, let's look at missions first. Missions before all. Uh, so we need gold rank various animals. We've got a reward one there. We need a red deer picture in close proximity. And we need boars in close proximity. So we're going to want something that can hunt things close up, basically. Uh, I've got people pinging me in the chat, and I can't see it. Uh, we have a curly turnips. <laughs> Says you're using the wrong gun. It's okay, we're going to switch guns. <laughs> That's part of the plan. Uh, so... None of those missions luckily require a specific weapon. Uh, let's actually go into the store. See, do I actually even own the drilling rifle? Oh, we have this. So this is a reward for Rancho Dolorio missions, but we can also just get another version of it right now, which seems weird to me, but what do I know? Uh, no, I don't own the, the drilling rifle. What's the best colour? Probably this one. Uh, <laughs> we'll take down 10 bison with the varmint fur. Uh, one of the things I did consider doing was just seeing if I could just go with Fion's loadout from that one stream, but I think that might be that might be a little too close to, to home sort of thing. Uh, but we're going to buy the, the drilling rifle. I guess we're going to buy some 16 gauge birdshot, because we don't seem to have any. Huh. It's weird. I would have thought I would definitely have some of this already, but apparently not. And the buckshot. Now the thing about the drilling rifle is... This is what... I mean, most shotguns, to some extent, are quite... Like... Wide targeting. But this rifle, you can... This, this gun, you can hit literally every species in the game with. Uh, there's not too many guns that are like that. Uh, I'm also going to want the poly tips. Boop. 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 But this is a, it's a weapon I always forget about when thinking about a gun to take on class 9s. Because uh, it's not in the rifles list, it's in the shotguns list. <laughs> uh... So the girl, it weighs five. It's a it's a heavy little boy, that's for sure. Uh, we also have the Northern Twenty SA. What is this? This is a shotgun. What the hell? What the hell weapons am I carrying on me? That's a shotgun, apparently. 
apparently. Uh, okay, ideally I want something like a ranger for the smaller guys. I can fit a ranger. I can't fit a ranger and a dedicated weapon for the class 1s, so I guess we're sort of going with the birdshot and the grout primarily, and then the bow will also be a take or comers thing. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you. I need... what size are you? 243. Uh, 243 poly tips. And then I need all of those 16 gauge shells I just bought. And... Uh... Yes, this boy. For the Grelk. Ideally, I also want a scope for the Grelk. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit one, unfortunately. Which could prove a problem. No, I don't have the room for it. Something else is going to have to go. It's because I'm using the bow with the heavy bow sight. And... Uh... This quite heavy gun because it's a weight five gun. Uh, do I have a lighter bow? I do have a lighter bow. Okay, we'll swap up the hawk edge. The hawk edge is technically better, but in this case, if it'll give us sort of extra carrying capacity, I'll grab the razorback light. Uh, it's got a little less oomph to it, but the grelk will have a lot more oomph with a scope. Uh, all of our callers are the right callers for this area. I'm not carrying anything else that I don't need to be carrying. Fantastic. Okay, okay. Let's close down the old Firefox now. So it's just chugging the stream. We don't need it anymore. Uh, let's put the Grelk on one. I've never had a shotgun on weapon one before, but we're going for it. There's lots of bison quite nearby, apparently. Um, maybe I should get set up for that sooner rather than later. Okay, we're putting in birdshot and these bullets. We're putting in the tickle comers, arrows, and that. And the polytips in that sight. That's the wrong rifle scope for my thing. I need the Hyperion. Do 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 do. Quickly scroll down. Uh, not the Helios Hyperion. There we go. Wonderful. Amazing. It feels weird only having four weapons, but... Uh, three weapons even, but we're going with it. Okay, thank you. Can I see those bison anywhere? They were just down here. And the, uh, the Grelk. I've been told it's long press. Yeah, long press to switch between arrow types in the Grelk. Or between which barrow you're using, I suppose. I think the bison might have moved on. Which is unfortunate. They were downwind of. Oh no, hello, there we go. Alright. Hi there, cow. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. Uh, which one's biggest? Be quick. Uh, class 1, class 2, class Do, do, do. Uh, oh, we have a Shaka! Welcome, Shaka! I am stuck. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I think that was a fairly successful first hunt. Can I get this guy? Well, I got a hit. We'll see how well it went. Uh, the scene, you seem to need to manually reload this every time, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
Uh, one lung shot. Two lung shots. Silver rank. Very nice. Alright. Uh, he did a flop. He did do a flop. Um, Alright, let's see if we can go pick up this other one. That we hit coming down the hill. Uh, Shag says, is your Twitch broken or is CC gone? Hmm. CC might be gone. I've just looked at my OBS and found that it's so uh, the little panel's not there. Okay, my my closed captioning uh, plugin might be broken. That's kind of fine in a way, almost, because I have been meaning to get a new one for ages because my closed captioning software was crap. Uh, all right, we did get another vital hit. I'm quite pleased by. Because I was sort of worried that it would be a a crummy shot taken in haste. Exactly the sort of thing that you shouldn't be doing if you're trying to prove your credentials as a pro hunter. Um, Jack says, you're always very understandable. I always have it there. I was like, hmm, something's missing on the screen. No, I mean, it, I'm glad that you pointed out to me that it's missing because it is it is a thing I want to have, close captioning. Because, like, I love having... I don't generally do it for Twitch streams specifically, but I often have closed captions on the screen for watching any sort of media. Uh, and, you know, I understand that there are people who literally can't uh, watch and enjoy your content without closed captions. So it is important to me that I get that fixed. Okie doke. Well, he's below 50 already, which is quite good. We won't have to follow him too far. I don't even know which bison it was that I shot this time. It, this was just the the one that I saw. Oh, there's a foxy boy up there. You're probably a little far away from me. I'll give you a blow anyway, just in case. You do a big important help. I'm actually curious. Chaka, do you, uh, I've never... I don't, like I say, usually watch Twitch with captions on. Do you have a, a closed captioning plugin that you use? So I, I'd be taking recommendations for basically any of them that were better than my one, which was rubbish. <laughs> I used the, um, I can't remember what it was called. It was like something, something Google Cloud Captioning Services or something. And I think maybe I'll be charitable and say maybe it was just designed for American accents rather than my accent. But it was, it's completely failed at any given point to oh I got him in the spine god that was a that was a, a close one that was nearly like not hitting anything worthwhile um yeah it's it was rubbish it was terrible Jack says he was also a plugin found on Twitter has different options for accents and stuff that's interesting I will maybe message you after the stream about it Rather use the browser one that's put in as a browser source. I my understanding was that if you did one like that, you then couldn't turn them off using Twitch's like captioning functions. Although I will confess that I'm not an expert. Uh, just having a look down at the lake side, see if there's anyone here before we go off and do whatever missions we're supposed to be doing. Hello. Another level three. Okay, well. Oh no, don't turn me back. Can you come a bit more side on, please? Ugh. Not behind the bush. I think they're leaving. Okay, this might be a shot. Uh it was a hit. We'll have to hold our horses and see just how good a shot it was. There was a hit. Did you? Ah, uh, Shaq says, yeah, it's built in, it's on screen, we can't turn it off as a viewer. Oh my god, the game is proper chugging all of a sudden. 
Don't know why that is. Maybe I like cross where there was a big herd just came into render distance somewhere. Um, yeah, that's not what I want because as much as I know that captions are very important for a lot of people, I know that they're also a very distracting use of screen space for some other people. Uh, is that another? No, that's that. Never mind. Okay. Hello, you. That was a fine shot. Bit low. I was shooting from a little bit far away. I was expecting the drop off on these bullets might be a bit more than uh, on a conventional rifle. Oh, High Noon Tier 2! What's that when it's at home? Oh, there's another bison over there. Hang on a sec. Hunt Club Beta. Harvest wildlife between 10 and 4! Uh, 10 and 2 even. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> Why not? I always forget that they have these rewards in uh, Hunter now, because I'm used to only having them in the Angler. Let's harvest white tail or black tail. Yeah, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. Uh, okie dokie. What do we have? Uh, two, 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 two. Uh, you're the biggest so far, you're the biggest, but you are also the hardest to get, on account of being behind someone else. How are we doing for pressure? Oh, not too much pressure. I've just shot that and then realised there is absolutely no way for me to get from here to it. Uh, absolutely no way for me to get from here to there. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, okay, I've got a tent up here. All right. Uh, Shaq says, I sent you a link to the plugin that you use. It's a tutorial that you found helpful to set up. Thank you! That is going to be extremely helpful. Uh, quick. Grab a... Grab a quad bike. Uh, and this thing is loud as all hell, so I'm going to turn the volume down for you guys. Uh, and for me guys, actually, as well. Oop. Pop it. Pop a waypoint there. Oh god, we're going down the hill. Oh, remember what happened the last time we tried to quad bike down the hill? Oh god. Oh god, okay, take it slow and steady. And the speed. Unfortunately, I am speed. Ow. I swear the driving on these has gotten a lot worse than it used to be. Go. Oh, what did I hit? What did I hit? <laughs> the the quad bikes are quite amusing because they they get pushed around by animals quite easily. There was one time I don't think I was streaming, unfortunately, but there was one time I was driving one of these, and I got pushed like off of a hillside by a rabbit. Um, it says, maybe it's more realistic, that ground looks awfully loose. To be fair, I've never driven a quad bike in real life, so I don't know what driving them is like.
Okie doke. Right, we gotta find our blood splat. Here we go, one splat of blood. Vital organ hit. I mean, I must say I'm enjoying the Grelk rifle quite a lot. What's the... Does it say what, um... 44 times scope. I actually might have better zoom than the Hyperion, which is crazy to think of. Considering the Hyperion is normally by far and away the best scope. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be running, but uh, I think we've just driven a quad bike, which will scare away all the animals. Oh, I need to turn the volume back up now that we're off the quad bike, so that you can actually hear the game. Always a plus when you guys can do that. There we go, and one by some body. So yeah, um, four shots, all on target. Kind of quite happy with with. The drilling rifle so far. Amazing. Another silver. Fantastic. Alright, we need, do need to be on the lookout for those golds, but uh, we'll take what we can get. Alright, let's go into our missions. Where are we? Okay, Ritterstein Lake. Ah, yes. Uh, I remember being here last time. We'll go here again. Have a little wander around the lake. Actually, do I want to fast travel to here? Given that this is already inside the lake area. It's a bit late now. <laughs> We've sort of already done it. Um, and we're looking for a close range takedown on a boar. What time is it? 11.52. So we don't have any boar zones that we know of. We'll do a little loop of the lake, I suppose. We perhaps won't dawdle, because we were here. I think it was technically this morning in game. But yeah, gotta work on that getting that pig. Though actually given that we know there's a pig zone here five. Maybe. Maybe we won't do this. We'll go to Boned Off Canyon. Oh we were at Boned Off Canyon last time as well, weren't we? Uh, what is the wind blowing? The wind is blowing southeast. Yeah, we came up through the canyon last time looking for red deer. Discovered there basically weren't any. There should be red deer there. Okay. We're gonna go go looking for the red deer. I think I just fast traveled out of some rain, which is a shame because I love the rain in this game. It's very pretty. Just like your faces, chat. Um, <clears throat> Which way we get it? This way. Uh, possibly not that way straight away. Possibly like the nice way over the mountain. Given that this is going to be a horrible lump. Oh, well that was an exciting start to the stream. Just sort of finding herd after herd of bison all lined up in a nice little row for us. Once I get into the area, we'll head foxy loxy up there. I do hate that noise. Boomin was right there would make a good sound a lot though. <laughs> oh dear. Um, here we go. Yeah, given it's given that it's basically two guns in one, the Grelk might well become a, a favourite of mine quite quickly. 
Just because I, I like having something that can deal with everything on hand. Uh, Boom says, I'm slightly dying what you're right about. The, uh, turning the fox caller from this game into a sound alert, if and when I get my sound alert set up properly. Oh, this is a fox sleeping zone, actually. I guess that's where that fox that we had was running from. That's one thing. Okay, so actually, this is a, a thing worth mentioning. Because uh, I said it on Twitter, but I'll say it here on stream. I'm thinking of, for at least the next few weeks, doing fewer streams. Because uh, mental health has been pretty through the floor lately. Physical health, not great either, partly as a result of it. Um, so I've been thinking of, of temporarily cutting down to only three streams a week. That would be... Hold on, did I just hear some footsteps? I did just hear some footsteps. Where are they coming from? But to whom do they belong? Uh, probably someone over here? I'll get back to that thought in a sec. Oh, that's a bison. Hello. Uh, inventory. Get my big arrows on. Oh, wow. That just dropped on the spot. Damn. Um. Puppies. Yeah, he's probably quite upset by that. I'll give him the blow. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Hang on. Uh, five? I don't think either of those is a vital organ here, unfortunately. But, we did get it down. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, we got a gold bison! Amazing! It's just wandering straight past us. We got a gold bison. Fantastic. Um. Uh. What was I saying? Let's have a look at the chat. That'll remind me what I was saying. Guys, I've successfully acquired a big barbarian girlfriend in Baldur's Gate Three. Congratulations. Uh, we've confessed our undying love for each other. <laughs> Baldur's girlfriend Three. I don't think it's Baldur's girlfriend. I mean, it could be. I don't know. Maybe Boulder is, is, is fine with, with sharing. Um, okay, no, luckily the second shot did catch the liver, along with, like, every other organ. Uh, so we did, that does count as passing the, the check. Wonderful. Uh, Shaka says, my blood is just me and the women. As it should be, I think. I think that's the correct way to play Baldur's Gate 3. As someone who hasn't yet played Baldur's Gate 3, I think that is the correct way to play Baldur's Gate 3. Uh... <laughs> oh, yes, uh, I'm thinking of cutting out Tuesday and Thursday streams for a couple of weeks. Partly it'll give me free days that I can do things on, which might be stuff like going on lengthy extended walks for my health to try and actually lose weight, because that would be nice. Um... Partly it might be other things like seeing if I can get back into writing, because I haven't written anything properly in like two years. I might also be doing things like focusing on channel maintenance, because I've been behind in uploading VODs. I have not yet even started on all those new emotes that we have the slots for. Uh, that sort of thing. Boomer says how I usually play in Dragon Age. I have only played a very little bit of Dragon Age, and if it was up to me, I, that is probably also how I would play Dragon Age. Uh, it's certainly how I played Mass Effect. But uh, when I played Dragon Age Origins, I was with my ex, who was a very, very, very big uh, Alistair fan. And... To tell you the truth, the, the Alistair Morrigan interplay was extremely entertaining. Uh, 
so I, I ended up actually having a, a guy, can you believe, in my party. <laughs> I'm vaguely surprised the gold level bison let me get within arrow shooting distance when I didn't even like know it was there. I guess it might be because I have the perks that make me better in the rain. Uh, I also have with me two drinks today because I didn't drink nearly enough yesterday for like the entire day. Uh, and was horrendously dehydrated and had a headache. Actually, still had a little bit of a headache this morning, but I've taken some paracetamol for it. Uh, Shaq says the stand is very helpful to have sometimes. He's also like big gender envy. He's okay to have instead of one of the women sometimes. <laughs> uh. Would you sound a fancy man? I so uh, I know very little about Baldur's Gate. Three still. I was sort of trying to avoid spoilers, and then Feezone was doing a playthrough, and I've been watching that a little bit. I might grab it myself at some point soon, just so I can have a playthrough and like stay ahead of the spoilers. Uh, although I don't really want to, because it is very expensive. Like it's a big game, almost certainly worth the price, but but the uh, it's a lot of price. Um. So I, I don't know a lot about most of the characters just yet. Max says, I knew a lot about the characters and romances, but nothing about the story. I'd say that's sort of mostly where I'm at right now. Like, I've seen lots of people first posting about basically every character, to be honest. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anyone first post about Gale. But I think that it might just be him that no one thirsts over. Uh, Shaq says, it's a lot of price. Do I have a birthday coming up? My next birthday is in several months time because uh, it's in August, so it's a long old way away. Uh, did I just hear more footsteps? I did just hear more footsteps. Ah. Oh. This bison is just over this hilltop. That's intensely frustrating. That's it's the best defense is putting a hill between it and me. Bruno says he's literally Dragon Age Two Anders. A little whiny baby. <laughs> he does have a cat. Oh well, the cat is good. Um, okay, I think we've lost that bison. It's disappeared somewhere over the hill, and I'm not entirely sure where. It's probably not worth following because it it moves more quickly than I do. Sorry, where are we actually like going? I guess we're headed south of this. Oh, we're gonna be we're not gonna get there in time, I've just realized. We've only got twenty in-game minutes, which is like five real world minutes. Gonna be a little bit late for the deer. Because I spent all that time at the start of the stream hunting bison. <laughs> which is profitable, don't get me wrong. Uh <laughs> says I gotta Google something. Okay. Let us know the results of your googling. And we only have to get a picture. You don't have to like pause and take a shot, but we do have to get them close. Uh, oh, we have a Zoe in the chat! Welcome, Zoe! So he says, Fluffy! Yes! Many fluffy things! Um... 
check it says you have a birthday coming up. You could give gift on birthday instead of getting gift on birthday. I definitely I okay, one of the things I'm going to have to do eventually at some point as a streamer is getting comfortable with asking people for things. Um Uh, I mean, I've never been good at addressing the topic of receiving gifts. Uh, it is useful, however, for me to know that you have a birthday coming up. For the, the opposite reason. Um, I believe, Boom Boom, you also have a birthday coming up. Uh... Says Kankapam and has also had a cat. A little bit unimpressed with Builders Gate 3 now. <laughs> ah, you see, now the, the tables have turned. I have played my, my Uno reverse card, Shaka. You're Halloween. -y. Oh, yes, of course, you. I think you have mentioned this actually. I'm just being slow and dense. Uh, despite wanting to not tackle the hill, we seem to be mostly tackling the hill, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, because I hate hills in this game, as I think I've mentioned at great length. It's... currently it's fine, it's navigable. We are... Oh, we're out of time, basically. We're not going to cover those 400 meters in 10 in-game minutes. Uh, this slope is horrible as well. Oh, here's that. That's another bison. I should actually check what the. Oops, hang on. Getting stuck. I should check what the zeroing is on this thing. Ah, there we go. It is shorter range. Okay, so the longest zero this thing has is only 150 meters. That's. Quite close. Um, especially weird considering it says the effective range is 150 meters, which is the same as the normal rifles. Uh, it says, man's not till next month. Exactly one week after it's my next stabbing. Oh gosh. <laughs> Poor little Boom Boom. Being pumped full of injections. Very sad. It's for a good cause, but it's very sad. Uh, oh, a foxy lots. Oh, hello. And a pigu. Meters. Okay, we can close that distance. Two pigu. Two pigu and the fox. I suppose I could feasibly. Uh, go for. sake. That bloody pig was teleporting! That's cheating! That's cheating, I tell you! Uh-oh. I've got the wrong arrows on. I've not got pig arrows on. Bloody teleporting pigs. Ah, I think this is a rubbish shot on this fox as well. Yep, no organs hit. Might still have gone down. Uh, it has still gone down. Uh, Let's put back towers on. Gosh darn it. What's a low bleed rate? 
but uh, it's below half already. I'm just going to quickly nab this. I think we should have been far enough away from the deer that they wouldn't have heard those shots. Um, so it's going to try to pluck up the coast to do more stabbings. Because your non-stabby way of doing HRT turned out to be, and this is capitalised, quite dangerous. Oh, boom boom. Oh, boom boom. We now want boom booms to be in danger here. Oh, there's a red deer mating call. So did I just see something up there? Maybe not. Uh, so he says, Gotta skedaddle pets for you! Thank you so much for hanging out! And thanks for giving pets for Boom Boom as well. They're very precious and need all of the pets they can get. It's very true. Uh, Shaka likes their Boom Boom safe. Agreed. Oh look, there's one. We just gotta get it close. And the good news is that it doesn't matter what gender or sex uh, of red deer we take a photo of, and the females tend because the because level and difficulty is linked to um trophy score in this game. One of the, we'll be generous and call it unintended, side effects is that all of the females which have no trophy because they have no antlers... Oh, I hit it in the face! That's why... Gosh darn it. Uh, all of the female animals are very stupid. Uh, for any of the species where trophy is based on antlers. Which means that, like, it's good for getting them, and it might serve to our benefit here, where we have to take a photo of them. Oh, no, they're downwind with me now. That's not great news. But, uh... Yeah. I'm going to blow again, because I'm not sure what position they're currently being attracted towards. Mira says, Tildia, you could have become a nerve gas bomb if you ever got hospitalised! Now! Okay, they run away. I think because they were downwind of me, they smelt me. Really quite annoying. I heard them. I heard them running away. That's not close enough. Okay, that apparently was close enough. I think. Yeah! Take a picture of Red doing close proximity. I guess the zoom counts? Uh, okay, let's see. There's a tree between me and you, isn't there? Bloody animal. Ugh. Hit it. And we killed it. Amazing. Wonderful. Boop. Yeah, double long. Fantastic. Uh, okie dokie. What, let's see this new mission that we've got. You used to hunt red deer with a pistol. I even scored a huge buck. Why don't you see if you can do the same? 
Now, it's a red deer down with a 454 caliber revolver and a silver score or higher. Oh, that's so annoying because we're not carrying one of those. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, Pim says, "You're sure they're all going down faster than they used to?" I think it's it's partly because we've got just solid enough hits. Like a a double lung from an arrow is often a quick kill. Not normally on the bison. I was quite surprised when the bison dropped on the spot. Uh, he says, "You thought it in Fion stream too?" Huh, I suppose it's possible that's a thing they might have updated. Oh, there's a male red deer over there, but I don't have the correct gun for you, sir. Uh, wait, do we have to do this in any particular place? No, just anywhere. Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, we're gonna head back to Thingy Thingy Lake. And we're gonna swap up our loadout, I guess. To grab a 454 pistol. This is really quite annoying. <laughs> Cause I was I was I've been quite enjoying using the Grelk. Uh and I don't think the the Grelk is gonna be a good overlap with the 454 pistol. Uh, it says, feels like there used to nearly always be a big long search for the body. Partly that was due to me being really rubbish at shooting uh, and getting bad shots, I will say. Uh, that's not necessarily the game's fault. Um, do -do -do. Right, okay. The 454 pistol. Sunberg 454. Uh, where's the 454 ammo for it? 454, yeah, class is 4 to 9. Okay, that means Baba Grelk. And that also means bye bye all of the Grelk's ammo. I was really in charge. Actually, having said that, what's my default loadout for this area? We'll just go with the default loadout for this area. I think. So, uh, does my bow have the sight on it for this? It does, okay. Uh, everything's already set up. Fantastic. Okay. So, if we see a, a male red deer, we're going to try and pop it with our pistol. Because only the males can be uh, class silver or above, because only the males have the horns. E even for reindeer, where the females do have antlers as well, I'm pretty sure females can only ever be like the lowest antler score. Which, again, I think reflects more on the people who made the game, perhaps, than it does on reality, but there we go. What canst thou do, I suppose? Oh, someone's over there. A red deer is over there. They should be here for a while as well. So, I mean, we only saw a female, I think. I don't know if there's a potential silver. Well, there is a herd. So it's definitely got potential. We do also need to be on the lookout for pigus. Very important. Uh, the four five four will go down to class four. 
Oh my gosh! Go uh, buy game. If you want, you can use this money for other things. No obligations. It's a mystery. It's just tipped fifty pounds. Thank you so much. To it's a mystery. Um, I I assume that's a way of saying anonymous. Uh, you're a superstar. Thank you so much. Um, I I genuinely don't know what to say. Uh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Um. Uh, that's astonishingly generous of you. Okay, I will. Possibly then use that to go and buy Baldur's Gate, and maybe possibly even, as it was a tip from stream, I will see about considering streaming some Baldur's Gate. I don't think I want to stream my first playthrough of it, just because... Oh, happy not about the... Oh, Shaka, you, you cunning, conniving fiend, you. I love you to pieces. You're, you're wonderful. <laughs> um... You're you're a, a, a truly stonking star of a human. Uh and I don't know what to say. Um but yeah, I, I wasn't planning to stream Baldur's Gate. I definitely don't want to stream my first playthrough because I want to be very dizzy about it and get all of the the loot and do all of the side quests and be probably quite obnoxious about it. Uh, exactly the way I play Skyrim, which is like I I don't broadcast myself playing Skyrim partly because I want to have it as a game that's like just for me, but also partly because it would be nightmarish and excruciating for anyone else to watch. <laughs> uh, Shaq says, "Do not stream if you don't want. You just don't have me as a Steam friend. Otherwise, you would have gifted the game." Oh well, we can we can definitely separately fix the uh, the Steam friend issue. Uh, that is something we should do. I am very bad about remembering to be like, "Hey, add me on Steam," but uh, I should I should try and do that more. Anybody else who's listening, if you're a regular, uh, maybe not people who are like new, but anyone else if you're if you're listening, you're a regular, uh, and you want a Steam ad, do send me a buzz, uh, and I'm sure we can sort something out. Because I I do love y'all greatly and dearly. Uh, and in case I haven't said it enough, Shaq, you are a superstar. Make up for it, we are now going to walk through 10 minutes of uninterrupted empty forest. <laughs> um. Boone says, I don't think I have you on Steam either. Oh my gosh, really? How have I let this happen? How have I let this happen? Um, I will potentially also possibly be adding people twice because I have two accounts uh, on the old Steams. Uh, which is a... Uh, uh, a holdover and a relic of how I started using Steam as like a, a kid. So, uh, part, you know, some of the games I, I stream are from a family account that I used to share with everyone else because, you know, my parents were like, well, you know, we're not getting you these games just for you, we're getting these games for everyone, which was very fair. At the time, did I hear a pretty put set? Do I hear a pretty put step? Um, Mark says it's a tragedy that none of us are friends on Steam. This is true. This look out and the Dizzle Squizzle look out! Ah. <laughs> uh, Jack says apparently me and Boomer aren't even friends on Discord. Oh no. Um, I don't think that makes you a bad person though. Boom Boom might disagree. That's their right. Um, that's up to them. Uh, okay, we've got a sign with a deer on it. I'm guessing that probably doesn't count. Oh, that would be really funny if a sign with a deer on it counted for the photo challenge of take a picture of a deer. <gasps> Hello! What do we have there? A red deer at 190 meters. Okay. Let's check what scope have I got. 
I've got a scope. What's your further searing? 75 meters. Ah. Uh, okay. The problem is going to be this tree doesn't particularly hide very well. It's going to be problem one. Problem two is going to be getting a shot on the big guy when the females are going to want to come closer quicker. Okay, 100 meters. Could probably make a shot from 100 meters. Oh my god, maybe not. Eighty six meters, that's a bit more viable. Nope, my one. Uh get the right zeroing. Okay, he's coming in. He's coming in. Ah, I can't spot him, because there's all the others behind him. Now in front of him. Yeah, okay. Range, sure that'll do. Ah! Ah, he moved! That was the perfect lineup. Now oh, he's going behind a tree. And the thing is, the tree is going to have a hitbox. And I, I don't know where the tree's hitbox particularly is. Oh, don't leave! Okay. I think they're all going back to their eating. Oh, I'm quite far away now. Okay, it's fine. I'll use this as an opportunity to sneak a little closer. Sneak a little closer. <laughs> Thank you, Boom Boom, for the for the dear butt emote. Where did he go? Where did he go? It's down there. A bit of a rind between me and them, which is very unfortunate. Uh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. I'll get the handgun out and ready, just in case. Oh, I need to be in the tree. Females have come up, not the male. <clears throat> Ow, oh come on! Ugh. That's exactly what I was afraid of happening. Blast! Blast, blast, damn and blast. Also, yeah, that thing bothered me for like nearly half my health. Ugh, this little ridge here just completely screwed me over. I probably will run off now. Okay, that was a good hit. That might even have been a good hit. Oh, there's rabbits here. He dropped quickly. Two vital organ hits. Come on! Silver rank! Okay. One in the 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 lung, one in the lung. Amazing.
Boom. Quest complete. <laughs> says he got run over. I did got run over, it's true. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Looking for piggers. Let's actually wander over to that and have a look just in case. Oh, that went well. Considering the, the challenges we were up against, that went really well. We, I thought we'd scuppered it by spooking off those females, but... If I see any other animals nearby, I'm going to be have to be a little cautious. Just because uh, I really don't want to destroy this need zone. This need zone is currently a very big part of my plan to complete the piggy quest. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, we now have fewer side missions. Because uh, we, we completed that, that, that whole train of side quests. I've only got three missions on the go right now. And yeah, obviously a few of them are get gold, which is... It's an ask, not just of the hunter, because you have to not mess something up, but also of the RNG, because you have to actually see and find golds. Uh, you know, like, I, I don't think... I don't think we've seen more than one gold rank animal. Because we, even the ones where we've messed up the hardest check, which is only like that one fox. You know, even that was a, a silver that we messed up down to a bronze. Golds are uh, moderately rare. Which makes it all the more important that you then don't mess them up when you do find them. I'm not I'm not much of a, a handgun hunter. So I honestly wasn't expecting that to work quite as well as it did. The the main reason why I'm not a handgun hunter is because the scope zoom isn't good. Which is understandable, you know, you can't use a handgun really the way you can use a rifle. Uh but I just find, like, this amount of zoom, like, that's barely a zoom. Actually, having said that, am I using a handgun scope on this, or am I using the reflex sight? I'm using the reflex sight, that's okay. That's partly why. Let's just have a look over the field, just in case there's any pigs there. Because it's a, it's a good place to spot animals if they happen to be there. The field looks pretty barren today. Uh, what Actually, what, what weapons do I have on me? The wasp does 1 to 2, so that's for geese if I ever find any geese. The solikin does 3 to 7. And then the handgun is my only option for the bison. Oh, apparently there were fallow deer over there. Who I had no idea existed. Shaka says geese are aggressive boys. In this, they are not particularly aggressive boys. They are extremely flighty boys. Uh, they are... Supernaturally good, almost, at detecting you. If I could be certain that you weren't going to be behind a tree, I would absolutely take this bow shot right here. Okay, oh, there's one of you down there. Can you stop? Wonderful. Uh, Shag says all the aggression points went into perception instead. Basically. I mean, to be fair, uh, although ge geese are normally very aggressive, I've never met a goose in a situation where I'm, like, firing a gun at one. 
for obvious reasons. You are you have enormously pretty spots. Tremendously pretty spots. I'm moderately inclined actually to taxi this just for that spot pattern. I think it looks great. There we go. Not something I'd normally do, but uh She's chunky? She might have been a little chunky. Uh I don't really know what is and isn't chunky for a deer. You know, very few wild animals get to be true, like, chunguses. Just because they, you know, have to deal with wild conditions. Variable food availability. Predators, although not so much predators, uh, in Germany. There's not loads of deer predators. Ah, uh, looks looks very huggable. Aww. <laughs> I looked over that was like that's an ore deposit from Skyrim. <laughs> uh no, okay. This field is empty. That's fine. Where are we going next? I guess all up here. Jack says, you know what else looks huggable? A polar bear. Oh, there they look so huggable. <laughs> they look moderately huggable. I'm not going to go and say they're the most huggable looking wild animal to me. That might also be because I think I, as a rule, would prefer to hug slightly smaller things. Uh, it says you can hug a polar bear if you want, probably only once. I think honestly you'd be doing very well even to get that one hug in. Uh. <laughs> My guess is that polar bears probably don't want to. Uh, and you should never hug anyone without their consent. Seeing that rabbit hole has reminded me that it has been many, many tens of hours of gameplay since I last actually saw a rabbit on this map. It's a good job none of the missions require hunting rabbits, because that would be nightmarish. <laughs> I guess I'd just set up a... like a tripod stand next to some burrows, I suppose, would be the way to do it. I don't really know what determines when the rabbits like go in and out of their dens, warrens, whatever they're called. But they are tremendously elusive creatures on this map. Oh, that was my first yawn of the stream. The uh, the call of the wild sleepiness has, has started. We're an hour and a quarter in. <laughs> oh dear, that means one and three quarter hours of Sleepy Dizzy from now on. But we, I feel like we've been productive, we've got a, a fair few hunts off. Most of them have been pretty alright shots. Uh, we only really seriously messed up that one fox, because we hit it in the head instead of in the chest. Says Sleepy Dizzy is one of the cutest Dizzies, though. That's very rude to say. Um, 
<laughs> How could you? Um. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot to beat that time. Hang on. Ah, talking about yawning only makes you yawn more. <laughs> well, this is a lovely, nice little open area with nothing in it. <laughs> uh, where are we going next? Um, oh, there is a river crossing. I think it's there that you can get across. Oh, the other downside of being sleepy is every time I yawn it blows my ears out. Uh, like going up in the plane. I then have to meet again, like, half a minute later, so I can niffle and snuffle and fix my inner ear pressure. Come on, piggies. Maybe I should blow for the piggies. I don't think there's any piggies nearby to be blown for, but you never know. Sometimes you're feeling desperate. Do I only have to get the one pig? I have to get two pigs down to the 30 meters in this area? That's so annoying. <laughs> I mean, all of this, like, wandering around the lake that I'm doing right now, I'm going to have to do again after I get my first pig, because I doubt I'll get two pigs at once. That would be really quite special. Jackie was saying that little hurt, being blown and sometimes feeling desperate. <laughs> Those two statements were entirely unrelated, but I'm going to allow you to think whatever you want to think. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Ah. Uh, you're not going to explain. You will think what you want to think. Good. This is how. This is the way of the world. The correct way of the world. Okay. Well, a little nubbin of a hill. Anyone around in this forest? Anyone at all? This is rough terrain for it as well. Like it's all pretty dense forest. That's a row deer. I'm having a row deer drink zone. Um, it's just like a dizzy status effect. <laughs> I think a game that includes being blown as a status effect is probably not one I can play on Twitch. At a guess. Uh, what is my range to this? 90 ish meters? <laughs> Is it a buff or a debuff status effect? <laughs> uh, okay, sixty meters. I'll have to double check to see if there's anyone else here before I pop you on. No, okay, no, it's not. Depending on circumstances, I see. Uh, okay. Wait, hang on. I think I fucking missed it on the first shot, but I hit it on the second one. I think the wind took my arrow a bit. Because the wind is blowing like directly sideways across here. That has gone down. That was a disaster! Uh, and it says, you mentioned it's one of those that buffs one stat, drops another. I see. Okay, it has died, but it was a, that was a shoddy hit. Was, we were trying to hit a small target from far away, which is never a good starting premise, to be honest. 
And if I wasn't so greedy about hunting Basha, I would uh, not have tried to use a bow. I would have tried to use an actual proper gun. Especially, I've got the Solokin. I like never use the Solokin. Uh, I always expect it to be more green as well. Alright, this road here has decided not to leave very many tracks. This is going to make my life... Oh, okay, here's some tracks. I was about to say it's going to make my life difficult. One in this clearing here? Nope. Oh, that was quite a lot of blood for a non-organ hit. Uh... I'm kind of impressed it's getting this far, considering it's big bit is medium. After this, I need to sort of head across to that kind of area. Actually, we might even leave the Rittish Time Lake Zone, depending on how far this thing's got. Okay, okay, not too much further, just enough to die right outside this person's house, uh, which I'm sure they appreciate strongly. Peter's cabin. I, I've got you a present, Peter! Knock knock! No one's home. Where did we get you? Oh, we hit you in the face! <laughs> I guess that's why it bled so much. And like, straight through the neck. That's uh, actually a shame in and of itself, because if we'd been a tiny bit to the right, we would have hit the neck. And, weirdly, this bit of the spine is all non-vital, but this bit of neck is vital. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure you need your spine just as much as you need your neck. What do I know? Ah, uh, yes, we did actually get very slightly outside the, uh, the lake area, so let's dive back into it, just in case we happen to see any pigs. Shag says spines are pretty essential. Ow, I'm literally just cracking mine right now as we speak. Ow. Ooh. Ah, ha ha. Ah, ow. Um, <laughs> forgive me my noises of... I don't even know, like, uh, they're not exactly bad noises. They're not exactly good noises either, from, like, stretching out your spine. They're just noises? They are just noises. Um... And that's what you're all here for, right? To see Hunter Call of the Wild footage on screen while some numpty makes noises at you. Um, Jack says, you wish you could crack your back yourself, you your shoulders, not your back. Ah, you need someone to give you like a, a sort of a shove down the middle of the back and a pull back on your shoulders and stuff to give you a, a proper good... I, this is... I can't finish this sentence without it being taken the wrong way. Um, <laughs> then we were in dangerous territory for that whole sentence, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but you, you understand what I mean. Uh, 
<laughs> you understand all the meanings. Oh. You should be an English teacher then. My understanding is being an English teacher is in a large part to do with finding meanings where there aren't any. Um, not all the meanings of everything, okay. Just all the meanings of dizzy noises. Render distance? I think that is technically within render distance, that short of the lake. Any pigs? Any pigs? I do hate these quests, the ones where, where they give you a very specific objective and a very small area to do it in. Uh... Okay, like this, the river bank. Oh, hello. Someone's down there. It's a little rodeo. Having a drinky drink. Rodeo are almost rodeo and bison are almost the only things I ever actually catch drinking. Like if you were to if I were to thoroughly like document this map and all the, the drinking zones on it, I reckon 90% of them are going to be roe deer and bison. Maybe 95. There's one fallow deer drinking zone there. There's a red fox drinking zone there. And there. And there's another fallow deer there. Okay. 60 meters. Now we know from previous experience that trying to hit about 60 meters with a bow is tricky, however, they are dangerously close to being downwind of me. And they're at an awkward angle. Hmm. Yeah, we can get to 40 meters. I'm happy to take that shot. I do want to get a little bit more side on, but the more to around, around to the left I go, the more downwind of me it is. So I want to be about here. Uh, Boomer says, guess who's provisionally not homeless anymore? <gasps> that is provisionally very exciting news. I'm so happy for you. Uh, okay. That's probably a good distance. Okay, it dropped on the spot. Fantastic. We've made up a little bit for our shoddy archery earlier. Oh, exciting times. Do you know... Do you know where you're going to be, Boom Boom? Or, or provisionally going to be? Who's that? That's a red deer. We don't have a quest for you, particularly. But, uh... We'll have a blow. We are not fussy when it comes to what we take here. And yes, pretty much the best you can hope for from a shot behind the back. Kind of clip all of the organs. Uh, Boom says that ground floor place you were telling me about before. Fantastic! Oh yes, you, you, uh, I remember you were dealing with paperwork and forms and things. Uh, I need somewhere to hide. This is not it. Uh, are you going to come out? Uh, 
at all. Hello? Mm. That sounds like a warning call. That is a warning call. Uh. Ah, oh, don't turn away from me! Ah! Uh, it is also downwind of me, so. I don't really know what I'm expecting at this point. Now it's running. Bust! Dash it all! Dash. It. All. Uh, where are we headed? I guess we're headed here next. We've nearly finished our lap. This is a fallow did we concerned as well, okay. Should we start a bloody pig drinking zone? <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna... Can I go and have a look? Uh, online to see what pigs are doing at this time of day. So it's... Oh, actually, well, I know what they're going to be doing in an hour. They're going to be back to their feeding zone. Hmm. So maybe I don't need to be worried about what they're doing now, because I know where they're going to be later anyway. Ugh, oh, so annoying! It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I guess the other important question is, can I cross the river here and then walk back around to here on foot rather than having to fast travel? So I think that would be ideal if it's possible. You know, we've spent a while in the area now, uh, which is normally a good thing for there being, like, animals around. So if... Uh, if we can wander back without having to fast travel and spook a whole crowd of animals, that would be great news. But yeah, I ideally want to be back around that feed zone. At around five, maybe a bit afterwards. Because they don't always show up on time, in fact, they rarely show up exactly on time. The best point to find animals to lead zone, I find, is usually about half an hour after it starts. But that'll obviously depend, because if you're if you're like fast travelling into an area from the other side of the map, then animals sort of they go from being whatever state the animals are in when they are not being rendered or tracked thoroughly because you're not nearby into the state where they're being tracked more thoroughly because you're nearby. And they might not always be sort of exactly where they would be if you'd been just sort of like this wandering around an area for a while. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't, but... <laughs> it was words out of my mouth. I don't think this guy's coming back. I'll blow just in case. Have a listen out. I don't think it's happened. Right, where are we going next? We're going down there. This looks like a little bit of an open space. Um, yeah, so I know we've literally like just done a lap of this lake, but we're probably going to do at least another half lap um, to get back around to that boar feeding zone. See if we can pick up some boar for this damn quest! <laughs> Pig quest. It's like elf quest, but with less fantasy. And honestly, more horror. <laughs> Considering some of the experiences I've had with Wild Boar in this game. Oh, 
other than that, the main mission. Red deer, boar, fallow deer. I guess I probably want to go to the fields. It's going to be my best chance of getting fallow deer. And also, best chance of like being able to spot a variety of animals to pick a gold out from. Because you can, if you wander through a forest and you see like one animal every ten minutes, then you're kind of stuck to whatever the rating of that animal is. But if you go somewhere like the fields, uh, maybe also this lake. No, which lake is it? This lake has a lot of animals around it that you can all sort of see from quite far away. That's going to be, I think, my best bet of finding gold rank animals. <clears throat> and that people have made sort of like maintaining your herd in Call of the Wild down to like an art. People like deliberately, strategically squish need zones in places they don't want them and like bring herds together by doing that so that they all drink or eat from the same need zone at the same time. Uh, and they strategically like only cull the males because this game is weird in how it respawns animals. Uh, and so basically if you like only cull the males and only kill the biggest males, instead of what you'd expect to happen, which is you end up with a park full of females and males with small antlers, you actually end up with a park full of males with even bigger antlers. Because someone didn't pay attention in science class, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm not planning on doing any of that, but you know, I still think having the most animals to sort of pick from is going to be the best when I'm looking out for golds. It's game science. Yes! Uh, I think this is a way across. What time is it? Path 4. That's sort of perfect. I do kind of wonder if it would have been sensible of me to set up like a ground blind near that feed zone, which I have not done. It's too late now. But uh, maybe food for thought for after the stream. What time is it? 20 to 2. Okay, we've got plenty of stream time left. Let's go looking for these pigs. And then do some other things besides. I think actually also, just thinking about it, and the gold rank animals, I'm very glad that there's not a quest for a gold rank rabbit, but part of the reason behind that is that, as far as I know, there are no quests for rabbits in this map. There are certainly no quests for rabbits in Leighton. I can't think of any quests for geese here, or ducks in Leighton either. I think that's wild. There's just a whole two species in each map. This hill is a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. There's a whole two species in each of those maps that just the devs didn't pay any attention to in the quest system. Like, I can understand that there's no quests for pheasants or turkeys because they were only added really recently. The maps have been out for a long time. But just no map, no quest for any of the small creatures. That, that sort of I don't know. It, it feels weird. <laughs> Who hasn't said that halfway up a grassy bank? Very true. Very true. Then we need an equivalent phrase like. Uh, the phrase which my mother always used to deploy on us when we were children, that our, our eyes were bigger than our tummies. Oh, hello, who's that? There's a level 7 red deer. At 200 odd meters. What 
what's the best zeroing on you for that? Probably 150 meters and just deal with a bit of bullet drop, to be honest. You might be a gold. Level 7 might be gold territory. So I don't want to mess it up. Uh... Check says my eyes are big in my tummy. If I made that face when the wind changed, it would stay that way. I I never had the the your face when the wind changed one. Although I have heard about it from other people. Um, well, you're very on the alert, aren't you? Okay, I think 160 meters. We can probably push to 150 at this stage, but I don't want to be any closer, because that's bang on my zero distance. Okay. Actually, can I get down? No, I can't. I can still see it, that's a shame. Because I'd like the added stability. Might have been a bit far back. Might have been a bit far back. I'll have to hope. This is a lovely area though, really wide and open. Okay, he has gone down. That might mean it's a good shot. Also means he won't have got too far, which is nice. Huh. Okay. And... I think that's a vital. That's a vital. Amazing. <clears throat> exciting times. Exciting times. Might be picking up a gold red deer. Oh, who are you? You're a roe deer. Uh, no, you're running away. You're not running away very fast, but you are running away. Oh, hello. Oh, you're like 200 meters away. And behind a hill. And also behind trees. Okay, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna try for that. I I I'm kind of hubristic as to what shots I can and can't take in this game, but I'm not quite that hubristic. Uh... <laughs> I also. The, the way I play the game, where I chop and change my inventory quite a lot, it means that I... Like, if I just had one gun that I stuck with the whole time, I could go to the uh, firing range, which is down here. And I could range in shots at, like, 200 meters and 250 meters, the awkward distances that you don't have a zero for. And I could probably get consistently good enough that I could work out, you know, where to aim for each of those shots and calculate for bullet drop. But because I use a different rifle basically every stream, like, all of those things are going to be slightly different. Hello, who's that? Oh my gosh. Ah! He, he just started running. Just started running. I was a fraction of a second too slow. I did hit it, but I don't think I hit it well. Um, it says, you're the only Twitch Primer here, aren't you? Monster Prime 2 is one of the Prime games. I don't really know what Prime games are, I'll be honest with you. That lies, that's a bad idea. Alright, we'll pick up this, uh, pick up this red deer. Hope that you're a gold. You are a gold! Oh, lovely! I think that might also be a taxi. I don't taxi a lot of animals in this game. 
Well, I think that's a taxi. There we go. Marvelous. And where did I hit you? Looks like a. Oh, okay. It's a bleed rate of medium. Will definitely draw crowds at the museum. That's a medium. That might be a vital hit. No, it's a non-vital organ hit. Blast. Uh, Boomer says it's free games for having Amazon Prime and also Twitch. Oh, uh -huh. interesting. How much is an Amazon Prime subscription nowadays? Because I I never got it for the like the delivery benefits because I never really thought they were worth it. And I, I, I've always sort of known about it, you know, having the, the Twitch Prime subscriptions, but I've never really sort of considered like what what's the what's the value for money of having the eight ninety nine? Yeah, that's probably still probably still not quite worth it for me, unfortunately. Because I, I don't use Amazon like almost at all. And I use Prime Video, but we uh someone else in my family has an account for that. You're a silver. Ah, oh, you would have been a gold. That's really frustrating. Because I think that's also one I have a quest for, isn't it? Yeah, fellow dear gold. God damn! Oh, I nearly got two golds for that quest in a row. That would have been amazing. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, Shaka's off to make some tea. Enjoy your tea. Um. Boomer says, you mostly use the lockers, they're especially useful when you're on night shift. Ah. All these things that I didn't know you could do. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Speaking of Amazon Prime though, I do really need to catch up on... I need to watch Good Omen Season 2, which I still haven't watched. And that is a, a tragedy and a disaster. I also need to catch up and watch uh, Grand Tour, because I don't think I've seen any Grand Tour stuff since they did uh, Lockdown. With a, that's Loch as in like Scottish Lake. I think that's the most recent Grand Tour thing I've seen. Um, it says you knew about the lockers you sent birthday present to one. Oh yes, I didn't realize that. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize that they were Amazon Prime only. I assumed that that was just an option for delivery. Like how lots of shops will be like, you can deliver it to your home or you can deliver it to a store. I assumed that was just Amazon's equivalent of you can deliver it to a store. Someone is close. I think need to pull that out. It's okay. You guys are all distracting me from these pigs that I'm supposed to be getting. Uh, then says Amazon delivery can be kind of spendy without Prime. Fair. Yeah, I, if I were in the habit of ordering lots of stuff off of Amazon, I think it would definitely be worthwhile. But the yeah 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 sure whatever. Oh you swine! Ah! <laughs> oh you swine! <laughs> it's the second animal in a row that's done that to me. <laughs> this time I didn't hit it at all though. Um, honestly, I think I might have rather. I think I might have preferred to have not hit the fellow deer and have that gold roaming around for me to shoot later than to shoot it and mess it up. Um, it's kind of a shame. My my ace hunter credentials are once again on the line. 
I'll have to see if I can get a ball. I must also admit, actually, the um, the close range deer photo. It felt like I I cheesed that. I don't feel like I should have been close enough for that. I think it's wild that just zooming in counts as being at closer range. That's hilarious to me. the forest. I'm looking for any pigs. I suppose there won't really be pigs that it's worth looking for until I get to there. So if I see a pig before I cross this threshold, I have to actually not shoot it. Cross this threshold and then call it to me. I'll blow for the deer just in case it decides to follow me, but uh, I'd be very surprised. Normally if you're going away from something and you don't fancy turning around for it, the calling doesn't really help. Like it's not gonna, it's not likely to come up and overtake you while you're still on the move. They're a lot more hesitant about investigating caller crimes than that. Yeah, by the time I by the, by the time it gets to where I was, I will be long gone. Mm -hmm. A little bit of mist on the field. Mist in the daytime is mostly fine. It's mist at night that really gets you, because it scuppers your night vision goggles. Sorry for being quiet, my ears are absolutely just murdering me today. They've, uh, they've clearly taken issue with the weather. With the weather, it was like lovely and rainy earlier, but a weird sort of quiet rain. Um, a kind of rain where you, you see it pouring down outside, and you hear absolutely nothing. I'll see this guy. You're probably within killing range. If I can get a bead on you. Give it a go. I don't want to spend too long being distracted by you so that it gets to night time. It's part of the problem. Where are you? You sounded fairly close. Mm. That's a warning call. Oh, you swine. <laughs> I hit it. I don't know where I hit it, but I hit it. Blood? Can I, can I have some blood? Please? Somewhere? Anywhere? I'm sure I hit it. Can you see any blood? Ah, there's blood. Okay. Hit it really badly. 
non-vital organ. It is probably going to go down. But it might take a while. Okay, it's dead now. Okay, this is going to be a long one. Uh, which is annoying because I really, really, really gotta get to here. I might actually run this one. I don't like running in this game, but we are going the literal opposite direction to where we're supposed to be going. So, uh, need to turn up here. That. Oh, this is a pig rest zone. That's no good. That's outside of where we need. Uh, this is uh, the wrong kind of trap. Hang on. That. This one. This reindeer, this deer, red deer has doubled back on itself, which is always the most annoying thing. It's bleeding out really slowly as well. Oh, look at this big open area. There's another red deer there, but it's a bit far away for me to hit. And I'm also busy, I suppose. Okay, around the half. I think I'm definitely gonna fast travel back now. Because we've just gone so far out of our way, it's gonna take us too long to walk back on foot. Come on, Red Deer, where are you? Under a corner now? Do Okay, one Red Deer body. We scuffed a shot on. Hello! Yeah, we got it a bit far back because it was already making a break for it. That's annoying. No one's fault but mine. Okay. I'm gonna do a fast travel. Didn't want to do a fast travel, but uh we 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 gotta at the stage if we want to be there on time. to see from across the lake if there are any pigs there. Which would be a good start. We can't shoot them from across the lake because we have to do 30 meters! And uh, 300 is significantly more than 30. Oh, I can't see any pigs there even at all at the moment. That's really not good news. It's not good news at all. <laughs> uh. Just while I have a good view, might as well have a check. Okay, that 
partial line is basically at the end of this, but the answer seems to be no. Uh, when did Bors drink? I really need to find out when Bors drink. Uh, oh, I'm looking it up on my phone, so I'm not looking at the screen. They drink from midnight to three. Really awkward time for you to drink because of course it's night time, so it's dark, but at least we know now. That will be in one stream's time, I think. I mean, it's a big old lake, so surely they must come to drink at some point along the shore here. Any eyes on any pigs? No, no eyes on no pigs. There are no boars, and if there were boars, they would be blind. I have cleaved quite close to the shore. We actually haven't got good eyes on of all this territory that we're going past. Normally I go like down through the middle here, but uh, I've cut fine so I can get here in as good a time as possible before the sun sets. That makes my life infinitely harder. see through the trees. There's nothing on the other side of the trees to see. However, Shaka has returned. Excellent news. It's always good to have one more Shaka than we had previously. We are currently we we while you were gone we ran like a million miles this way after a deer that I sh I shot badly. Um, <gasps> that's a pig. Oh, there's a pig, and we have a lovely open space in front of us, apart from the fact that there's no cover in it, and it's also slightly hillocky. So, we know that they're here. Uh, Shaq says, you think Shaka, two Shakas would be too many? I think two Shakas would be amazing, personally. Um, uh, <laughs> no, we can have multiple Shakas like the multiple Boom Booms. Have you told Shaq about the multiple Boom Booms? Exactly know where those piggies are. I guess I'll blow for them. We had troubles hunting in this area not long ago at all. I think they might be on the other side of these trees. We gotta be cautious. Gotta be very cautious. 
So the last thing we want is having done all this build up to get here, to then spook them away without shooting. I don't know about the last boom booms. Ah, well. <laughs> Another boom has been turning up in Tark's chat. It's messing with everyone's heads. <laughs> oh, Pigu. Okay. Seventy meters. I'm gonna mark that on my map with a waypoint. <laughs> I literally called more boom boom. That's so. I suppose it's not strange in a way that like two people would come up with the same ish username independently, but. It feels so weird, knowing Boom Boom number one as I do so well, that there's a Boom Boom number two out there. Shaka says, you're the best Boom Boom? This is definitely true. Uh... Okay. Mating call, not a warning call. That's good. It says there's always room for more boom boom though. Where would other boom booms sleep? Would they sleep like in your double bed or would they be like put on the sofa as they are the lesser boom boom of the two? Okay, despite the fact that IRL, this is the noisiest way to approach an animal. We are apparently making no noise right now. So we can keep crawling like this. We are uh, downwind of them, which means they shouldn't smell us coming. We just gotta kind of hold and be patient for another 15-ish meters. Big cuddle pile of boom booms. Aww. Uh, I have another question though, which is if we have another boom boom and another shaka, are we assigning them the same lesbian monkey as you guys, or do they each need their own lesbian monkey? We get a dizzy to keep us warm. Aww. Cutie pie. Um, 31 meters. Um, <laughs> me and Dizzy have a discussion for yourself. We discussed we are both radiators. It's true. Okay. Let's get no. Uh, well, it can be a bow and arrow. Uh oh. Please tell me the pig hasn't moved. Oh no. See disaster. The pig, it has moved. <coughs> it is no longer where it was. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, pigo at more than thirty meters and and coming towards me. We're down. Okay. 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 I hear it. I don't see it. Uh oh. Shoot. 
was a rubber shot. That was a rubber shot. Oh. Ow! Where is it? Oh. Ow! What? Was that pig completely invisible? What? What? <laughs> um. I ran straight, straight forward looking down my sights. There was no pig there. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab a quad bike. Uh, actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I will go on foot in case they decide not to leave or they decide to come back. Because by the time I get there, it might be long enough that they've decided to come back. So we're going to take it slow. We're not going to get distracted by other animals. We are going to have to put on our torch and switch to night vision mode. Because I'm guessing that's why I couldn't see the pig. Uh... But I think, I'm pretty sure this blood splat here means that the one that I shot with the bow, even though it was a really terrible shot, it was a truly staggeringly awful shot. But I think I must have caught it in its like intestines or something, and it has died. They don't need to be good shots to count for the quest, mercifully. Um... Although, personally, I, I must admit, if it was me in charge of the game, I would probably make basically all of the quests be and pass the harvest check uh, to stop people like me from just sort of firing willy-nilly. Um, <laughs> Apparently, I don't know how you could be standing literally in front of a pig and not see it. Ugh. I have to go back and watch the footage. Ugh. Okay, but one down, theoretically. And yeah, pigs are dangerous in this game. Like, I'm not going to add that to my list of pig nightmares from this game, like the Christmas tree field, but, uh... Yep, they, uh... They are pretty spooky. Oh, I can't believe I took such a bad shot though. I should have should have been using the handgun. I shouldn't have mucked around with the uh, the bow and arrow. But I was worried about the um, worried about the need zone and smushing it. Because I know we have already shot at least a couple of animals in the vicinity. I really didn't want that to go away, as that's our only reliable pig place in this entire area. Uh, yeah, okay. Apparently I'm in the lake right now. One of the things that always surprises me about this game is how little of a consequence dying carries. Like, there's no financial cost. There's no, like, XP cost. You don't, like, lose equipment and have to go and pick it up. It's literally just a minor inconvenience if you have to go back to your spawn point and then return. See something there. No, I think that's just the base of a tree, okay. Ugh, yeah, the the pigs that they started walking away from me, it was kind of an awkward situation. Um I didn't necessarily handle it particularly well. But thirty meters is a is a is a tough distance.
getting close now. I blow the horn. Pigs aren't good at responding to callers. They don't usually like call back. I thought I'd give it a blow just in case. If it causes some pigs to come towards us and get heard and spotted. And so much the better. Scan of the tree line. I really should have put down the ground blind. But I guess if I put down the ground blind, I would have put it down covering this area, which wouldn't have helped anyway. Where I really need to cover is, I guess, this sort of mini clearing in here. I suppose there's a spot here that can do both, it's just that because I'm always going to be approaching this area from that house, like I'd have to go all the way through the area or around it to get to a ground blind that's set up here. Okay, I'm guessing the pigs have all fled. Which is sensible of them. You know, I did run at them, screaming and wielding a bow. And if I had seen that pig that charged me, I would have shot it probably in its face, so... Ah, uh, that looks like blood. That's blood. Hasn't. Also, did I just see? I did see. Okay, pig a car, because he didn't get too far. Sadly, there's no caller. I, I did see they have added a bunch of callers for certain bird species now, but I think they're all bird species from Revon Tuli Coast, not the, the, the little incidental birds that you find scattered around the other maps. Last call for pigs. Any more for any more pigs? Let's keep an eye out for that pheasant. But, uh. Pheasants on this map with a wasp, pheasants with a wasp in general, are pretty much a non starter. Because to get your pheasant as a trophy, you have to actually uh, shoot it while it's in flight. Which is tricky enough with a shotgun, let alone. Okay, where did we hit you? Yeah, exactly where I thought. That's a shame. But we got one. Only one more now. I don't think that's going to be tonight. Because I think they've all fled. We will maybe come back later in the night. Alright. Ugh. Deep in some bush. How am I supposed to spot you and pop you in there? <laughs> Thank you, Shaka. <laughs> Well, what makes it worse is the preceding ugh, um, when you take it out of context. No, I promise that being deep in some bush is only a problem when it's pheasants and other wild animals.
<laughs> okay, good. Um, pheasant? Any sign of a pheasant? I could whistle for it and spook it, but I, I don't think I'd be able to shoot it if I if I did. I don't think I'd be able to see it through all these trees. I think it might be just past this. Uh, okay, what what key is my wasp on? It's on key five. Okay, I suppose we might as well give it a go. I hear footsteps. Okay, it's fleeing. Is it flying? I think the little bastard is running away from me on its feet. Da 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 da! Nope. We gave it a good go! We gave it a good go, but uh, that's a no. Oh my god, I think we hit it! You're kidding me! You are kidding me! There is no way on this earth that I hit that! Unbelievable. It's a big squirt that came out. Oh, I missed that. I didn't see it. Because I, I... It's really difficult for me to figure out just how much I need to lead my shots when I'm firing with just like a single shot thing. Where is it? Oh my god. That's a gold rank pheasant as well! Okay, I didn't technically hit it, but uh, I hit its hitbox, which is what matters. Astonishing. Okay, for the third time today, I'm actually going to taxi something. That's incredible. Wow. I'm sorry, I'm I'm bigging myself up a lot here, but I absolutely would not have expected to hit that in a million billion years. Um. Well, that's great. What the hell do I do now? Uh. Why is the wind blowing? Southeast. Another one scared to death. <laughs> uh, well, you still gotta find a gold boar and a gold fallow deer. I guess it wouldn't hurt us to have a wander up through the straw fields. See if we can. These, the boar from here are probably the ones that go there as well, which is slightly annoying. Yeah, see if we can see anybody out and about in the fields. They might be of a gold rank. Uh, I guess. So, boar are eating right now. What are fallow deer doing? Unfortunately, the Call of the Wild wiki, as you might perhaps have guessed from how I feel about the devs, the official Call of the Wild wiki is a fandom wiki. Uh, which means it is horrendous to use. Fallow deer. I'm gonna squeak. A row deer. Just in case one happens to stop by. Uh, okay, it's the fallow deer are also currently feeding, so it's a good time to go to the fields then. Oh my god, look at this brush. That is nightmarish. Don't think I'm gonna follow that road here in there. No, I don't think I, I don't think I hate myself that much. Well these rocks are 
also pretty atrocious. Squeeze through, excuse me. Okay, that way I won't be excused. There we go. Okay, there is a fallow deer making a native call. Might not be in range to hit me. It's over this right and switch. May or may not be a good thing. It means I can make this bit of the approach without being at risk of being seen. But it also means I have no idea how close the damn thing is. Like, it could be right on the other side and hearing my every move. Like, never know. Uh, okay, this is... The fields are a little bit further. I'm guessing this comes up to the road. I'm guessing that deer is in the field, or on the edge of the field. Uh, it is a male, which means it has a chance of being a gold rank. There's also fresh ball droppings nearby, apparently. It sounded very loud, but the rodeo is in that horrible little bit that I don't really want to mess with. Um, okay. I've lost my bearings. I think the fallow deer was over this way. I'll rattle for it, see if it responds. I can also hear lots of geese. Geese are much easier to take with the wasp than pheasants. Hello? It's a rank 4 fallow deer. Don't know if that can be gold or not. Oh, there's also a pheasant over there. Okay. I think what the plan is is find somewhere where I've got a good view of both. Can I see the fallow deer through this? I kind of can. So the plan is spot the pheasant. Right? This is a stupid plan, but this is the plan. Spot the pheasant. Shoot the fallow deer down sight. And switch to the wasp, ideally. But we were too slow on switching to the wasp because you can't. If you hit a key to switch. Um, okay, it's fleeing. Is it gonna fly? Are you going to fly for me? Yeah, if you hit a key to switch while you're already in a switch animation, it just ignores the fact that you've hit that key. Okay, you are flying. Oh, you're flying very fast. No, I don't think we got it. We gave it a go. Again, can't fault us for trying. Yeah, we'd see a blood splat if we did it. Honestly, getting one pheasant in a stream is a lot more than I expected. Getting two would have been crazy. Like you are a gold rank fallow deer. Okay, the fact that we messed one up earlier hasn't come back to bite us. Now we only need a gold rank four for this quest. Astonishing. Uh, I guess let's head sort of over this way. Have a check of the fields. Oh, we're being so productive! Oh, it's nice. If I could figure out how to shoot you guys down from up there, you would never be safe. Never, ever, ever be safe. I mean, 
Firing straight up into the air is probably a really, really bad idea. Because that bullet will fall down. No, no. No nearby boar zones that I know about. That's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're shooting yourself in a very creative way. Exactly. Uh, if I run along here, I can see into this field and then get an eye onto that field over there. Although I can mostly see that field from here and it's not very populated. I said you loved you used to love doing that in hogs. Shooting yourself creatively or firing directly up in the air to hit an airborne target. I suppose I shouldn't really expect anyone to be in these fields, considering I did just fire a, a gun quite a lot. Uh, I'm going to directly have to shoot yourself creatively. <laughs> it's a good way to, I suppose, test like what kind of a, a system your game is using, right? Because if, if you've got a hit scan system, A, it might not have bullet drop at all. Like, I don't think... Um, Team Fortress, for example, has bullet drop at all. But uh, you know, if you're using a hit scan system, I don't think you can hit yourself in that way. Whereas, obviously, if it's modeling bullets in a more sort of sensible, authentic, technical way, then you absolutely can. Also, a, th a thought that struck me a couple of days ago, I guess it must have been, was how wild it is that the the military replacement for the the English longbow, like it, it basically it functions sort of like a mortar, like it was an indirect fire, rain death from the sky over a large area, sort of a weapon, or at least that's how they were used by the English. That's crazy to me that we we had almost sort of a modern. Hello. Almost a modern artillery style thing. Another pheasant sighted. Gonna keep it in our sights. Still don't have a shotgun. Because I never changed my loadout again. After I, uh... After I completed the handgun quest. Gonna keep our finger on the number 5 key as we approach, because I have no idea how close this thing's gonna let me get. But every metre distance closer... ...is... Uh, ...sort of an increased chance of actually shooting the damn thing. So let me get quite close, honestly. I think it's detected me. Maybe it hasn't. Because if I if I could get close enough that I could see it with my torch, that would be amazing. It won't happen, but it would be very handy. So your torch is really short range. I have never really tried wandering around the forest at night with just a torch. Have no idea how accurate that is. We are very close to the damn thing now, aren't we? This is probably close enough, honestly. Okay, that's another pheasant fleeing. Go on, spook. Up in the air, up in the air. Up in the air, you swine. Nope. Nope. 
Nope. Nope. And don't think so. No. Okay. Well, we gave it a good try. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. No such fear. It is, of course, moderately expensive to just continue firing ammo and not hitting anything. Uh, but I have... Hang on, I hear something. I have quite a lot of money in ammo. Uh, Boomer says, aren't you allowed to shoot them on the ground? Um, you are allowed to shoot them on the ground, but I'm fairly sure that pheasants are one of the species where... Uh, so they they have a special kind of no-value trophy, which is called grounded. Uh, in the same way that like a deer that has no antlers, so like a female deer basically, uh, gives you a, a no trophy instead of just a bronze trophy. I'm pretty sure that a pheasant that's grounded gives you like a no value trophy. I will double check. Because it has been a while since I looked this up. Uh, wing necked pheasant. Shooting pheasants on the ground or in the process of landing gives no integrity points and shows grounded. Yeah. Which is a massive pain. <laughs> uh, and honestly, kind of very stupid. Because, like, I understand that if you're sort of a, a sport game hunter, bigwig, Tory donor sort of person, I can understand that, oh, yes, it's all about the thrill of the, the, the sort of the, the difficulty of the shooting them in the air and stuff. But, like, that's not the kind of hunter you are in this game. So I don't really understand it as a mechanic, but what do I know? Uh, there's all these fields down here. But I actually don't really have many well-placed uh, outposts for. Partly because I still never got these two outposts down here. We're nearly at the end of the game. <laughs> I really should get on that. Um, I might fast travel down here. Uh, oh, 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 you win me, Boom Boom. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll fast round on here and. I think I'm gonna switch back to, um. Switch back to my set with the Grelp drilling rifle. Because obviously it's a shotgun. And that might be significantly more helpful. Uh. This way. It might be significantly more helpful if it's pheasant feeding time, which it seems to be. Are there any pigs down here? There definitely might be pigs down here. Because there's a pig feeding zone there. Let's actually head over towards this. I'm worried we might get there a bit early, unfortunately. I've got to remember that the pigs... I need the ranger. Or my bow. One of the two. Uh, oh, let's, have I been zeroed in close this whole time? That might be why I wasn't having much luck killing the pheasants. I mean, apart from the fact that they were flying and I'm a shit shot. Uh, We're gonna get here just a smidgen early for the boar, which is unfortunate. If I weren't live, we could just sort of hang around and. Uh, oh, I've got my long binoculars on, hang on. Uh, oh, hang on, my grelk isn't set up. Awkward. One shot. Drunkscope. Um, yeah. Yeah, 
I can just sort of play the patient hunter game and just sort of sit and wait for pigs to show up. But that won't make for very good footage. <laughs> Plus, it would be really awkward if we sort of got to the end of stream time, which is in like 20 ish minutes, and we just spent 15 minutes standing in one place doing nothing. And I was like, all right, well, we haven't done anything, but it's time to end now. <laughs> not, uh, not ideal. Actually, I mean, so, so I want pigs for the. Harvest the gold boar quest. But I also separately want pigs in that specific area. If I thought I could guarantee getting a gold ranked pig in the other area, then I wouldn't even bother kind of coming down here. But it's such a small area that I definitely can't guarantee that. In game time. Quarter two. And that will be about. By the way, we're actually like there, because it's only 100 meters away, never mind. Ignore Dizzy. I don't know what they're talking about. We can keep an eye out for the pig. Yeah, they must at the very least be wandering this way. If I wander around to this side as well, then I can sort of approach it from downwind. Hello? Who's that? That's a fellow there, yeah, okay. Rabbit burrow here? Oh yeah, so there is. Used some time ago. It's good to know that there's another spot for rabbits here. I find it very annoying that they're not marked on the map at all. And rabbits don't seem on this map to create need zones. So you just have to sort of remember where they are. Blow on the old collar. Hello. There's someone nearby. So I heard a deer over there. Who's this? It's just another deer, okay. Come up behind that tree, please. Fine. Not literally. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, they're all on the move. That's a disaster. What? There was one right there? What? Where did it go? Okay. There was one right in front of me that I wanted to do a follow-up shot on and I, it just disappeared. But it's fine. We got a fellow there. Nothing amazing, but uh... Oh, I have to like completely double back myself. 
that fella did just dropped on the spot as well, which I'm quite pleased by. Oh, it's because the Grelk is too big of a gun for it. That's why it dropped on the spot. Sod. I'm not supposed to use the Grelk on the fellow deer. I knew that. I knew that. And yet I did it anyway. Do you know what that makes me? Total numpty. Total bloody numpty. Alright, hello. Sorry, I shot you with something a bit big there. Messed up a gold. Messed up a diamond. Could have been a lot worse. Defense, you say. <laughs> I know a lot of people who do like actual IRL hunting are moderately dissatisfied with how the the class system works in this game. Uh, because you know, if you if you have sort of a, a gun like this, say. And at 150 meters, it's got far too much power in it for a small to medium-sized deer, like a roe deer or a fallow deer. At 150 meters, when you're at the 300 meters, you know, it's lost a huge amount of that energy to the point where it might perhaps be a more appropriate device to shoot that deer at that range with than your ranger or your... Um, Varminter or something, which sort of like just barely has enough power to take them down at 150 meters range. And if you try and put a bullet from that into something at 300 meters range, it's not gonna kill it properly, or at least IRL, it's not. Uh, I can understand why they didn't model that system in, because it's difficult for the players to conceive of, and it's probably also incredibly difficult to model. Um, but uh, IRL, there would potentially, I suppose, if these people are to be believed, be a, a use case for firing this big old shotgun thing at a fellow deer. Just not how I did it. Um, well, there won't be any pigs here, because I should buy the loud gun. But we can still have a wonder. There's another feed zone over here. Presumably for a different animal. That could be pheasant. Well, there's quite a lot of them here for it to be pheasants. There's a fox there, apparently. I'm assuming I can't use birdshot on a fox. No. Can I use the buckshot on a fox? I can. Might be more useful for like close range hunting. Bit late now, seeing as it's already fled. Oh my god, a million billion geese! They're so high up! How are you that loud? Shut up! Ugh. <laughs> oh. He's been nibbling here then. He's been nibbling. This is a pheasant feed zone. Okay, fair enough. There must have been a lot of pheasants here. You don't normally see this many pheasants together. You normally see them in like ones and twos. I reckon there's five pheasants have been here. Oh look, you've come down. Ah! What? Oh! I pushed the fire button and it wasn't loaded! That's not cool! That's not cool! I'm gonna have geese for dinner! Rude? <laughs> Very 
very rude. I was perfect. Okay, you're a red deer. You I can shoot with my Grok. Do you have any friends? You do have some friends. There are also maybe some geese down there. A bit difficult to get to from here though. Okay, what range are you guys at? 100 meters. Well, something's coming at me. Pigs. That's a level 4 pig. That's a possible gold pig. I feel like that first shot didn't hit at all. Which is confusing to me. No, it did hit. Okay. Right. Two pigs down. That's very nice. I didn't even check you to see what size you are. That was a hot shot on you. Wonderful. Vital organ hit. Okay. Are you a gold pig? Well, we have got this main mission done. That would be nice. You're a gold pig? Hey! Hey! I'm very pleased with that! Marvellous. Oh yeah! Objective complete! Wait, that's the whole mission done? Great, that's all of them. I'll let Albertina know. You're a real pro at this. Thank you! <laughs> hey! event was a great success and he was very grateful for your assistance uh-huh unfortunately the boar have been migrating back into the farmlands again and Zomel is not too happy about that there's one large boar in particular that's been troublesome for the farmers Tresla calls it Wurst you know sausage right wonderful reports say it is quite aggressive and is even charged at some kids around oh, Jesus okay yeah the farmers are getting very concerned can you track it and put it down yep yeah I can oh wow we've got a bunch of missions now maybe I wasn't quite as close to the end of the story chain as I thought I was uh right so Harvest the aggressive boar sausage. Harvest a red deer with a gold score or higher. Oh my god. Down to using a 270 caliber rifle and a hit to the heart. Okay. And then hunting pressure in Johnsdorf. Right. Uh, well. Let's, let's find Johnsdorf. Johnsdorf is over here. Wind is blowing east. Guess we'll travel to like over here then. Boop. And we. Hey, Albertina oh. said that there's more work to be done if you're interested. Finn has a very wealthy client that wants a stuffed animal in absolute prime condition. Sure. It will be a tough harvest as he's looking for a big red deer buck. To keep it in pristine condition, you need to shoot it in the heart with the recommended caliber. Uh huh. Do you think you can pull it off? Probably. There's good money involved, as always, with eccentric millionaires. <laughs> sure. Uh, let's go to storage. Let's look at my default setup. So you do route classes 3 to 7. What is the I just got a text 270? from Dr. Bandari. Yeah. Looks like the bison population has been migrating north and are starting to get quite close to our red deer population in Jonstorf. Uh-huh. Normally, we wouldn't worry about it, but we'd rather they not establish home ranges in the same area as other reserve animals yet. We have to be certain that the brucellosis epidemic is under control first. Gotcha. I suggested to Bondari that we establish some hunting pressure in the area, which should keep the two apart for now. I was hoping you might be willing to help out? Always. Okay, let's ditch the 243. Grab oh I can't grab the two seventy, it's too heavy. Okay. Um 
This area would be a good place to establish hunting pressure that will steer the bison back south. Sure. See if you can track down an animal around here. Okay. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm in the menu. Uh, Boom says, Ash a twelve's birthday is coming up and Elon forgot. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, in a sad way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, what are we going to do loadout-wise? Um, hmm. Let's throw everything off to start with. Uh, let's even throw the drilling rifle scope off. Um, of course, he's got too many children to remember. I actually don't. Does Musk have any other children? Or is is that what the joke is? Uh, apologies for being too stupid. Did I throw off all of my scopes? No, I didn't. Okay, he has multiple. Okay. Right, uh, then I need the 270. 270, 270, 270. For sure. Um, you know, I'm kind of wondering if I should actually make the Grelk Ranger bow loadout my default for Hirsch. Hmm. Because it, it can do everything quite nicely in a way that other things, other loadouts perhaps can't. Um, Boom says, you think he has about s between 6 and 12? That's so many! What the hell is wrong with rich people having like 8 billion children? I mean, I suppose for like Musk, it's partly because he's like, uh, he believes in this whole like, uh, great replacement theory conspiracy stuff. But like, you know, Bojo's got on God knows how many kids from affairs. I'm sure plenty of the others do as well. Like, what gives? Uh, okay, you cover four to eight. Um, ideally, I'd like one to three, which isn't a range you can get. Uh, oh my God. I don't have enough capacity ever. Jack says he has a trans daughter who not only changed the first name, also last name, to not be Musk, who's cut off ties with him. I, yes. And honestly, good for her! <laughs> <laughs> um, the 223 docent. That's 2 to 3, right? No, it's 2 to 4. Okay, it is also a useless rubbish gun, so, uh. Um, are there any other rifles that I don't have? I actually probably should sort of do the spanking battle stream because it is time for us to end. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna not muck around in front of you. I'll muck around after the stream is done. But uh, I want to say a big thanks to everyone for uh, stopping by. Massive thanks to Shaka for the dono. You are so generous. I will. I don't know if there's anything I can do in Baldur's Gate that will will be immediately labeled Shaka, other than. My character? You did nothing, I see. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> uh, big thanks to, to, to the mysterious uh, anonymous donor for uh, uh, getting that for me. It was so wonderful of you. Uh, I will have to find something and name it anonymous uh, in your honor. Um, but yeah, that that's unbelievably kind. Uh, I've got an email as well from the studio as being like, your first donor arrived! So that's going to be <laughs> interesting in and of itself. Um, Boom says you probably get a pet of some kind or play Beastmaster. That's true! I've never I've never played a ranger in D&D &D 5e. Maybe I should do at some point. I've always been a bit worried because they are famously slightly underpowered in regular 5e. Uh, and not planning on playing 5.5 .5 because it's... I mean, it, they walked back on the big, like, problematic terms of service changes they were doing, but just reading just the base rules for D&D 5.5, or 1D&D &D as they're calling it, it's so much worse than playing 5e that I'm just like, why would you bother? Even with the problems that 5e has, 1D&D &D feels so much worse to, to play just from reading the rules. But uh, that's a, a, an issue for another, another me and another time, I suppose. Uh, let me see, who is live and 
people going to presumably appreciate being visited by some other lovely humans. Longus John's life might be interesting. Let's go and say hello. Shall we go and say hello to them? Oops. Uh, Boom says, being able to have any beast rather than just one of, like, ten specific ones. Yes! That was definitely a, a, an improvement. Um, there is a Zoe live. That's true! Sure, okay, let's go and say hi to Zoe. As I haven't typed in Longest Jones yet, we can go and say hi to Zoe instead. Uh, you all know the drill. Uh, Zoe's a wonderful bean. You're a wonderful bean. You're a match made in heaven. Uh, be good. Make... So be proud, make me proud. Uh, I will be around on Monday. Uh, with the new change in, in schedule, there's going to be some like competition, because I have more than three things that I do regularly in a week. Uh, Monday, it, basically, if Stealth Games happen, they'll be on Monday. If Coliseum happens, it'll be on a Wednesday. If Puzzle Games happen, they'll be on a Friday. But any or all of them might be chopped and changed out for things like this. Uh, you know, or Paleopines, or whatever stuff I feel like streaming on that day. So, uh, see you all on Monday, 12pm British time. Uh, I think some clocks might be going back in some parts of the world at the moment, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, if they are, uh, pay attention to, to, to what time it is where you are relative to where I am, uh, if you want to catch it live. Uh, or you can follow me on Twitter, at this for demise on Mastodon, at eldritch.cafe, slash, at this for demise. I send out live notifications to both those places, so you never have to miss one if you don't want to. Uh, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. Thank you so much everyone for being around in the chat, and to generous benefactors. Uh, and I will see you all next week. Ta-ra! Bye!